Okay, so this is my process for figuring out polyrhythms. Um, first, let's do a simple one. So, um, most simple, I guess it's two against three. So we need the number of beats, the lowest number of beats that two and three can go into evenly. So that's six, and I'm going to do that by uh, making two sets of three. So I have six beats, one, two, three, four, five, six. You could put one through six if that's the way you want to um, to think about it. So within this time, within this number of beats, I want two beats evenly and then three beats evenly. So here I have two beats and three beats. So that's what it would look like to figure out two against three um, in my system. So if my left if my left hand is two beats and right hand is three, it looks like this. Okay, so the video before this was seven and four. So the lowest number that seven and four can go into is 28 beats. So I divided this by seven. So I have four sets of seven here. That's what the confusion was on the other video about what was seven, what was four. So um, the easy one, or the, yeah, the easy one, I guess, is to just put a beat on the ones, which gives us our four, like that. And then for the seven, it's gonna be every four beats. So I have one, Two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. Let me go ahead and write lines in between here to make it easier to see. I could have done this before I started recording. Not so exciting for you. Okay, there we go. So this top line is four, and the bottom line is seven beats. So let's see if I can do this with my fingers. So if my uh, index finger plays the four and my middle finger plays a seven. If I count this out very slowly to try and just understand how it fits together, it's going to go like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 And eventually, after I go through this process, then I try to do it faster and faster to the point where I don't have to count out these sevens. And then... So my left hand will play the seven, and my right hand will play the four. That's it. So you can do any number, um, any, any two numbers. Uh, let me know if you have any ideas. I don't know that four and seven sound so great, but it's fun to figure out anyway. Okay, see you guys later.